so today i am going to tell you you ask about the connections you know before yes uh, so that i will tell you now for that i am just uh, taking a new project and then i am going with the space and then file name as structure file that's fine and then next and i am going to use add beam finish now i am going to consider this kind of 2d frame so we are going to consider this as a steel frame okay okay and then i am going to assign a section database so section database uh, normally we can take a i section for this kind of uh, beams and columns yeah and then uh, for this kind of bracing we normally take uh, angle so i am going to consider the top one that is i section you know like american standards yeah and uh, then uh, angle i am going to consider the first one otherwise you can go for the last one also and uh, this i am going to assign to selected beam okay and then this one for this one so we created this part so it is what the frame mm -hmm. okay see now what i can uh, do means there is something called beta angle Yeah. So what you mean by beta angle in the sense? See here we do have a joints, you know. Yeah. So here now it is looking like this, the angle. Yeah. Okay. Now what we are going to do means if we are having angle like this, we can't able to put connections. Okay. So I'm going to change the beta angle to forty five degree. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So I'm going to. Uh, create beta angle. I'm going to click 45, input 45, and then click OK. Now that I can go, I can go for assigning to this member, assign to selected beam. Now we are assigned beta angle of 45 to this member. So now what we can do means now we can look at it. Now we change the angle. See. Can you able to see the difference? Not really. What, what, what happened? Yeah, before it was like different. You know, now the angle with forty-five degree, it's like uh, we have changed the member. Okay. And even here we have uh, irregular uh, patterns. You know, look like, uh, for that we can able to put a uh, beta angle of ninety degree. So I'm going to create a beta angle. And I'm going to put ninety, and then click OK, and select that ninety, and select these three members, and I am going to assign. Now mm -hmm. we can go for three D rendering. See now you you got a. See. Oh. Ah, uh, so beta angle in the sense it is what it is. So the connections oh. and everything will be like uniform. Hmm. This you can able to like. Uh, Understand easily, or uh, it is like a clearly visible to you if you are having a big project like a three D framed structure. This is just a two D frame model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we did everything, and as usual, I am going for support and create, and then <coughs> assign to select nodes. Okay, and then uh, loads and definition. I am going to consider. uh one dead load and then one live load dead load as usual uh, self load self weight uh -huh. um and then member load i am going to take for the horizontal member top horizontal member okay i'll take to view and then this one i am going for only this one as into selected beam okay now i am going for analysis and print or add and i'm just going for analysis mm uh -huh. so no error no warning no not 
okay i'm just yeah. going for a uh, stay in modeling mode done so we are here see now there is something called ram connection it will open before it won't open after analysis yeah. and after giving everything it will be open okay here something yeah. it is telling that's not a problem but it is it, it which means you can go for a steel design and you can assume fy fu some american yeah. standards which having this kind of uh, parameters yeah okay now still it opened not an issue now ram connection opened after analysis now i am going to click this node point so this node point i need uh, that uh, kind of uh, connection mm -hmm. okay and i'm just clicking it and i'm going for uh, load so load cases we do have two load cases and we don't have combinations better if you have combinations also but i am going with the just two load cases click okay and i'm just going for a gusset gusset connection mm. okay here it is in the design of american aisc 360 110ast and don't uh, uh, you consider this option you also have some other options here and first option i am going to try you can try whole also and then click okay so it is created one joint member like uh, that connection it created mm. okay see now you can you able to see the connection mm. yeah we can able to see this connection in 3d and also 2d also so that detailing work could be uh, useful for you i think uh, because yeah. for that you know like uh, it is difficult to draft uh, but here automatically we can able to generate see now we mm -hmm. created this uh, connection what you can do means just double click it mm. so it, it it is going for a 3d view oh okay. uh, now we can able to rotate in this 3d view just a right click for rotate so just i am rotating see mm. so this is what the connections you are asking about you know before yeah yeah see this kind of things we can able to do actually ram connection is a separate software but they, uh, here also we can do so little things i was telling to you Mm. Okay, you were no, using uh, this one before. Uh, no, I haven't seen this one before. But so, uh, like, the program is is giving you the thickness of the uh, connections. Ah, yeah, everything. Even you can modify this also. Yeah. Mm. See, so for that, I'm just closing this uh, 3D view. So this is what the connections uh, bolt and everything. The detailing works also. We can able to see one minute, and we can consider the load. for example here it is we have two load even the values and everything we can able to see here okay and then i'm just closing it okay now i am going for drawing and result here see can you able to see that like autocad yeah 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 this one useful you know for you for uh, fabrication uh, for fabric what you will say uh, for site Yeah, 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 fabrication. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I told you because you it might be useful for you. <laughs> yeah, and he's giving you the the dimensions for the bolts as well. Wrong. For the bolts. Ah. Uh, uh, is he gonna give you the dimensions for the bolts? For this kind of bolt, uh, which which you can you want you you your own bolt own value for the bolts. Yeah. uh that you can do but the ram connection is separate so in that you can able to uh, dedicatedly you can do all those things yeah uh, okay okay so this one i want to tell you okay you you also try this kind of things it will come and i i am going to try another connection also like uh, for uh, this one this node and i am going for a gusset everything i am going to consider so it will create you the economical one yeah. so now it is created again mm -hmm. okay this is for the second connection 
so you can able to see that also here yes so for the second connection also it is giving like this uh, so these values and this kind of volt and uh, uh, that uh, everything you can change in ram connection that that one if you know like uh, if you double clicking it will go there now yeah. here you can able to change how do you go to this screen just to double click it so you just okay. highlight you just highlight it this arrow this arrow can you able to see the black arrow? yeah 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 i see it i see it double click it left to click okay. you just double click it okay 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 you also trying there what you you trying there no i'm not trying uh okay okay